Hello everybody, welcome to Iron Chef Brookie's cooking show. The show where me, Iron Chef Brookie, will teach you <laughs> the best ways to make food. And today, we are doing burgers in attempt... So, due to the fact that I am heading to San Antonio soon for PAX South, I, Bricky, will be making barbecue bacon cheeseburgers as a tribute to Texas. Yeah. So, barbecue bacon cheeseburger is the style of, similar to the one from Carl's Jr., if you remember the uh, Western bacon cheeseburger. So what we have for that are homemade onion rings that I've pre-crumbed and made look beautiful that were totally my mine. We have a nice thing of bacon that I will show you in a bit. We've got pre-made bun pa patties. P patties? Yes, because I can't trust myself with making these things correctly. We've got butt. This is for possibly later. I, 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 I did not buy those. And then of course, buns. And of course, we have the most, the second most superior cheese of them all, pepper jack because blue cheese is the best cheese and a lot of you think that it's not and shut. Then of course we have barbecue sauce along with it as well. So with that, we're gonna go ahead and put my totally homemade and oh, I forgot to preheat the oven. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Everyone laughs at me for seasoning things like this but you know, I don't have a salt or pepper shaker. So this is all I have, okay? Stop bullying me just because I'm poor. And garlic powder. They say season liberally, and uh, personally, I'm not too big into politics on my channel, but for the first time ever, we'll go ahead and, and do a little bit of it. You get the joke? Because liberally is, is like, it means a lot, but it's also a political thing. This is epic. God damn, I love salt. It's my favorite thing. All the people watching my Neo playthrough on the second channel know it perfectly well. And you know what? Yeah, I'm pretty bad at the game. And yeah, I made it way harder for myself than I needed to because I've already beaten the game. And uh, I realize a lot of my mistakes, but that's not what's important. It's a Souls-like. And with every Souls-like, it goes the same way. Start it off, blame the game, hate the game, say the game is stupid and unfair, get good, play it a lot. Though I, I, I wasn't the biggest fan of Neo personally, but that doesn't matter. Liberal. Now what do I do? Wow, these are big bacon strips. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, that smells so good. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my. We should season them. They have no seasoning on them. We're gonna season our bacon. Um, I don't know if seasoning the bacon is the right idea, but uh, pepper, I guess, would be fine on the bacon. Not, not salt, but just maybe like a dash of pepper. You might think I'm a heretic for putting brown sugar on my bacon, but you all never have had bacon that's been dosed with brown sugar. It's like wonderful. So brown sugar got a little hard, but that's fine. I'm just gonna squish it and like, just slightly, there you go. See, see, ain't that cool? Ain't that, ain't that just so darn, gosh darn golly, nice looking. Okay, I think it's time for patties. All right, please, please don't be bad. Ooh, that's a good sound. Wait, you see, I don't own a grill, unfortunately. And because I don't own a grill, I can't, you know, get the authentic grillness for this this guy right here. I used to have a grill in my old house, but I, I, I left it to the other roommates so they don't starve. But yeah, yeah, excellent. Now we want medium rare, AKA the only good flavor. And Hank in King of the Hill, 
said Hank Hill in the King of the Hill said it best. What if they want it well done? Well, then we firmly but politely ask them to leave. Because anyone who likes well done is a heretic and should be... And, wait, no, no, crap. What, what, what is Kaiser Legion? Degenerates like you belong on a cross. That's good to say in this day and age. Now, I, a, a intellectual, want jack cheese on mine. Now, in a standard Western bacon cheeseburger, you know, you could put on, like, cheddar cheese. And cheddar cheese is a pretty good choice, you know. But I personally like jack cheese. I, I like a little bit of kick. I like a little bit of spice. I think it tastes great. The other person person holding the camera, wants mozzarella on theirs, and no, on a Western bacon cheeseburger. This reminds me of the SpongeBob episode where it's like, what's a salad? It's like, oh, you know, just take out everything but the tomatoes and lettuce. Just two tomatoes, lettuce, there you go, two Salads. All right. Let's go with my actually homemade onion rings. Oh no. Patty? Patty, are you, uh, how are you looking on that side? Not quite done. I'm gonna leave you on there for a little longer. Hot is hot, it's bacon time. Woo! Oh, that looks so sexy. And you get the, the, the corner slot. Oh, oh, it's so beautiful. I would cry right now, but it, I have been incapable of crying ever since watching Captain Phillips. Wait a minute. Adidas. find out. Get out of my face. Ooh. 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 This is gonna suck to clean up all that brown sugar. Ooh. Ah, 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 ah. I don't have one of those cover things. Burgers are cooking. Bacon is frying. Buns are thick. And onion rings, homemade, are cooking as well, I guess. So we need to flippity flip these bad boys and then put them in for another like five minutes or so. But I'm not quite sure how to flip these guys properly. So I'll find a way. Come on, flip. Flip. It didn't work. Flip, I say. Flip, I say. Flip, D yeah, it's not. Flippy the flipping dog. That's okay. 
I'm mad about that. Oh crap, the buns! Oh no, that's exactly what I wanted it to be. Oh, that's so hot. Oh, that looks beautiful. Oh my God. Oh my God, that's so, that's just as hot though. All right, stubs. We're just about done with these guys. In fact, I should probably turn the heat off. Whoop, whoop. Stubbs barbecue sauce. If you guys think that Stubbs ain't the greatest shit you've ever seen, do not at me. Not even close. I like Stubbs so much, I put Stubbs on both sides of my burger. Because I'm a legend. Oh, Stubbs. Mmm! Mmm! There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Yes, yes. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're not failing quite yet. Bad boy number one. And then cheese. Ah. Oh dang it, I forgot to put the cheese on the bun on the burgers when they're supposed to. Ah, that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna get let me get all these damn juices out. Bad boy number two. Cheese. Ah, uh, but there we go. Now the cheese is melting. Okay. These are definitely hot, as is the bacon, but that's okay. Now you might think the bacon's a little bit burnt, but it's actually just the brown sugar, so don't worry too much about it. Oh, come on, the, this, this part's supposed to be the easy part. Ooh, it's nice and it's not crispy, and I don't want it to be crispy. I want it to be nice, kind of gooey, but still have a good texture to it. And then get that O-ring or two, we'll do two, make them fit together, and then, Burger is a little juicier than I would like. Little bit juicier than. Gimme! Oh no! Too many. Uh, floor onion ring. Um. Uh. You know that I'm adding that I'm gonna be adding bacon to my onion rings. Hell yeah! I'm a true Texan now. Well, have you accepted me into your ranks? Am I finally the man I always wanted to be? I'm not squatting low enough. Okay, first things first, let me let me eat a piece of bacon and get a good. Oh. Mmm. Oh. Oh my god. Okay. Wow. That is so good. Holy crap. Okay. All right, let's go. Let's get that. Let's see if we can get that nice bite. Mmm. I can feel my arteries clogging. <sighs> that's, that's good, right? That's cooked pretty well. That's not bad. That's a, I think that's a solid medium rare. Maybe, I think. Mmm. Wow. <sighs> I love you, Stubbs. Stubbs, uh, please sponsor me. I'm not even kidding. Please sponsor me, Stubbs. Turn off the camera. I have to enjoy this in peace. You know, it wasn't that good. It was okay, you know? I just, you know, I hated it. It was, it was, it was the worst thing ever. It's, uh, so bad. So bad. Just, God, I wish I had done better today. <sighs> F. Anyway, last uh, avocado toast, or the last video I made about avocado toast, you really seemed to like the, where I made like a drink at the end of it. And uh, some of you asked me, because I mentioned a drink called the Connor from Detroit Become Human. And so I decided it might be good to show you how to make that because it's kind of fun. So let me show you how to make that drink. Um, now I'm using a big cup. You probably want more of like a tall glass. So you know, this is like a, I like drinking out of mason jars. It's just my thing. But you know, kind of like a taller, like a, you want like a tall glass, but like a like a skinnier tall glass. Um, now what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to fill it with ice, like usual. And it's a couple things. Uh, what it is, it's a espresso shot, 
Bailey's, Kahlua, and Rum. Now, you know I put rum in everything ever. And this one is not as destructive as the last one. Because that, you know, something else. But uh, this one should be good. So, if you can find that more of a creamy espresso shot, one with more of a, mm, how you say... Large amount of, uh, of clama or clam, whatever, whatever it's called. I would go with that one more particularly. Now you have two choices here. You can either do a double shot or a single shot. It really depends on how big your glass is and how much coffee you want in it. So while that's brewing, let's take over here and let me show you what this is all about. So what you want here is a couple things. Now I would recommend spice rum personally and spice rum for me Morgan Morgan's the, the the choice so what you're gonna do is you want the spice rum to be the large amount so about one and a half ounces or, or maybe just only one ounce depends on you um, now this is about one and a half so a loud noise I mean it's going but it's gone. And then the Baileys is actually pretty important as well. The rum is, is nice for me, but a lot of people really like Baileys. And it depends on how much Baileys you want to put in there, because Baileys will definitely make it a lot creamier. Uh, oh, God. That came out really fast. Careful with this guy. There we go. You see, that's how you pour, pour alcohol. And then put your Kahlua in there. Okay, that, that's done now. Um, wow, okay. Well, let's just, hey, don't, don't zoom in on that, okay? It's, it's, don't zoom in on my shame. Now, I don't normally make nothing but coffee drinks. I know the last drink was also a coffee drink, but this is just, this is more just coincidence. I did say it was similar. So, yeah. All right. Again. Use a bigger, or use a smaller cup. This looks like nothing, but use a smaller cup. And then finally, you take this bad boy, and then you pour your shot in. And that's about it. Nothing too special. All you gotta do is give it a good stir with a spoon. And that's it. Put your rum and your, and your Baileys in as you want. And the reason it's called the Connor is because of, you know, Detroit is, for some people, a really good game. Some people, not a really good game. It depends on what you like. But I think a lot of us can agree that the Hank Connor stuff was the best if you ever played it. And there's that great meme of Connor slapping the hell out of Hank to tell him to wake up. And so the idea is that the Connor drink wakes you the hell up. It's Kahlua rum, Baileys, and a double shot or a single shot of espresso. And if you're having this at like 9 p.m. and you're at a party, you're gonna be like wired to hell. <sighs> Tastes really good too, especially if you use the right kind of espresso. So that's the Connor drink if you're curious about it. I should totally do a series on game themed drinks. That would be cool. That'd be really cool. Okay, well I guess that's about it then. All right. Excellent. Well, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you'd like, you can uh, leave a comment or something about what you want me to make next. This one was specifically for PAX South, which I will be at coming up in this weekend. Uh, and, you know, Texas because it's in San Antonio. But, uh, ooh. Okay, question them. Boston-based fans, or Massachusetts in general. Uh, PAX East is in Boston. That comes around, I think, April. What is a very Boston theme, or Bass, Bass, Boss, Bass, Boston, ba Boss, whatever. What is a really cool Boston themed food item? And like, I'm sure fish is a big one, but what, what's like a big one? Like, like a really Boston-y thing? You tell me, let me know, and that might be a cool thing for when we get to there later on. Okay, thank you for watching everyone. It was a pleasure, and I'm gonna clean up the house. Bye-bye.